What's up guys, Jesse Mercy here, and welcome to a brand new video. Today, the FIFA 16 hype actually starts for me, and that's because we're currently seeing most of the ratings of FIFA 16 Ultimate Team, thanks to guys over at Vancouver. Basically, it starts like Footwards and Foothead are picking up on the players that are being added. So the likes of Hugh Wizzy, Spencer, uh, Castro, Hubsef, FIFA Riley, and also Kazooie are over at Vancouver right now, streaming FIFA and uploading videos uh, of FIFA 16, and we'll see the player ratings. And the video I've actually got for you today is going to be the Liverpool ratings for FIFA 16. The reason I'm doing this is because it's been massively a heavy suggestion to ask for on my Twitter over the last like day or so because obviously the ratings are coming out and people want to see what the best Liverpool players are guys so as always if you smash 2,000 likes that'd be absolutely awesome if you use my channel click subscribe for daily FIFA content and also if you want to do another team or multiple teams in one video of this let me know in the comments below so the formation I'm going with is a 4-3-3 now that's actually kind of the formation we're playing in real life and one other thing not every single player has been shown yet I think a majority like 9 times out of 10 players have been shown there's likes of I think it's Joe Gomez not been shown yet and uh, also John Flanagan so I'm going to adjust the lines ever so slightly but we're in goal and that goalkeeper is going to be Simon Mignola and he's put his name on there from the off but he's a 78 rated goalkeeper and that's quite a harsh downgrade I'd say because if you're based off the first half of last season fair enough uh, he's absolutely shocking but from like 2015 onwards he's been very very solid by the way he's gone down like two or three ratings and he's now got 82 diving 84 reflexes 73 positioning and 75 handling I think in real life he's currently got the most uh, clean sheets in 2015 and last season had the second most clean sheets in the whole league the fullbacks then first up we've got Nathaniel Klein as an 81 rated right back which again I feel is like fully deserved because his form last season for Southampton was absolutely superb actually got him in the uh, Barclays Premier League team of the year as well uh, he's got 86 pace 78 dribbling 79 defending 76 physical and a 71 passing and uh, if you actually want to see the in-game stats by the way head over to Footwords and you can actually see him in there on the site and left back virtual Alberto Moreno this guy I think he's had quite a big uh, defending downgrade but he's actually a left wing back by default but he has 87 pace 79 uh, dribbling 72 defending 70 physical and 70 passing so the defensive duo I have got with then is going to be Martin Skirtle and the big Frenchman Mamadou Saka. The reason Lovren is not in there because uh, Lovren has had an absolute nightmare and I think he'll be dropped for the next game. But he'll be on the bench. I'll show you every single rating that has been shown so far. But Mamadou Saka for me, I think he's personally the best defender. He's reigned as an 81 rated card with 66 pace, 81 defending and 84 physical. Skirtle on the other hand has 62 pace, 82 defending and 82 physical as well. So I mean, they're not the quickest of centre-backs to be honest, but I think they'll do quite a good job on FIFA 16. And now on top midfield, there's actually one playing to start off with and that's going to be our captain, Jordan Henderson. And this is probably the only player of the whole squad that I'm really disappointed with the rating because he's only 79 rated. And if he, uh, other fans don't really appreciate how good he is for us, but when he's not in our team, you can really see the difference. And for EA to put players like Jack Wilshere like two ratings higher, I think that's a bit stupid to be honest. I think Jordan Henderson registered like 14 assists last season in all competitions. And uh, that's a lot higher than a lot of other English midfielders. And I kind of feel like he's been uh, not, not accredited enough for that one. But either way, still looks like a decent card of every single stat above. 70 and then a right center mid uh, new signing this time and that's going to our vice captain James Milner. I was very surprised to actually see him in the central role because I think they're actually basing on positions they will be playing this season for a majority of teams. So Milner, uh, of course, if we don't actually play a right mid, we play a right wing, which is kind of like a right forward. It's a weird one to say. Uh, I'll change the formation in a second to show you. So Milner, center mid, actually looks quite decent in the middle to be honest, uh, pretty well rounded. Then we've got the main man, the German tank, Emre Chan. He does come out as a CDM, but either way, he actually looks like a very nice all rounder card. The only number in the whole starting oven, but I don't care as long as the gold I am uh, definitely happy about that but he's 75 rated again uh, actually lost his four star skill moves now he's got three star skill moves four star weak foot but again looks very well rounded and I'm just happy he's a centre mid to be honest and then we've actually got attacking trio first I'm going to start with the Brazilian Roberto Firmino our 30 million pound signing this summer so Roberto Firmino has actually got up one rating to an 82 he's got 76 pace 76 shooting 78 passing and 84 during on him looks like a solid card and uh, again I've put him as a right wing but his card is set as a cam left cam or left wing, sorry. We've got an 84 rated Philippe Coutinho. Now, when I've done my player predictions, I gave him an 83 rated card. I thought that was probably deserved. He had a very good season for us from like, uh, say, December onwards, and people were very quick to hate on that. By the way, he's an 84 rated cam, and uh, I'm obviously buzzing about that one. But one thing annoying about him, he's still got his really old face in game, so he's got like his, uh, his pube hair from Inter Milan. And then we have the big Belgian, Christian Benteke. Again, Daniel Sturridge will be on the bench. I'll show you him in a moment. So Benteke actually got an upper rating, but lost, I think it's three paces. He's got seven pace 75 during 81 shooting and 85 physical and if headers are OP this guy will be dirty on FIFA 16 and now that we have got the bench and first I've got DJ Lovren again uh, actually starting for us in real life right now but he's actually 79 rated centre back with just 56 pace 80 defending and 79 physical uh, again I'm not surprised about the downgrade to be honest as he had an absolute shocker of a year last season then we've got Joe Allen again uh, kind of that forgotten man at Liverpool doesn't really get much game time anymore and uh, I think he's actually like falling out of love with Brendan Rodgers and then we've got Jordan Knight but actually an upgrade for a silver as a 70 rated player 
player. Only got three star skills, unfortunately, but has 84 pace and 75 dribbling. Adam Alana is up next. Five star week for four star skill moves. Um, it looks like, okay, I suppose there's an on rare card and we're pretty cheap for your starter teams. Danny Ings is next as a gold 75 rated striker. And Danny Ings has 86 pace, 74 shooting, 70 physical, and 78 dribbling. So, it'll probably be quite good for our cheap hybrids at the start or something like that. Then, the next to him, we've got Daniel Sturridge, our second highest rated player in the whole squad. Again, probably deserves as an 83 rated striker. I'm surprised they didn't get downgrade given the fact he was injured or pretty much all last season. 89 pace, 83 shooting, 81 dribbling, and 70 physical. Actually, lost his four star skill moves. And next to him, Divock Origi. And now he's a gold striker as a 76 rated player with, I think, four star skill moves as well. So, the only player I was missing in this, uh, the ones that have actually been shown so far is Jose Enrique, but he doesn't really play at all. So, there's the squad I'm going with. And again, I actually forgot to mention that the player facing your screen right now aren't actually the updated ones. The updated ones will come when the full database is released, if I am correct, guys. So, enjoy this video. Smash the like button. 2000 likes would be absolutely awesome. Subscribe for daily FIFA content. And uh, in the comments below, let me know what squads I should next, guys. So, thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you next time.